Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Capricorn Love Prediction reading for May 20th through May 26th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, kind, loving fun capricorns show me spirit guys what's going on my cappies let's see caps what you got going on show me spirit guys what do my caps have going on show me ace of cups the strength card two of swords The Hierophant. Who? And the Six of Wands. Capricorn. Capricorn. Somebody wants to be, wants you to be their wife. The, that's what I see. Somebody wants you to be their wifey. What? what? Capricorn. First of all, the Ace of Cups leads your reading. The Ace of Cups is just about love and just being in love. An agape love, a God-given love. It's about forgiveness. It's about all of those things. But it simply is L-O-V-E, love. You're in love. He's in love. The strength card is here, though. And the strength card is, is kind of concerning to me because the strength card, is, to me, is about a power play. I want to be very honest with you. And I see the strength card because... The strength card is trying to get someone to see things totally your way. And when I say they're trying to bring someone, and, and, and let me say this a little bit. First of all, it's a couple of things here. Trying to get somebody to come in. And when you see the strength card, because you see, they say there's a lion in here and there's a woman that's trying to tame a lion. What woman you know that can do that? What woman you know that can make, a, or any person you know, that can make a lion just sit there right beside her? Capricorns, let go, let let go and let God. I'm sorry. That's just what I see. Let go and let God. Stop. Let go, let God. You in love with him, he's in love with you. He wants you to be wifey. I'm going to tell you why here in just a minute. There's a two of swords here. He's not going to be perfect. You're not going to get everything you want in one man. It is because you're not perfect. Oh, trust me. I'm a Capricorn. I know we're not perfect. You're not perfect. Let go, let God. Let go, let God. Two of Swords is in the middle of your reading. That Two of Swords, as we know, you've been indecisive. It, it, why, Capricorn? This man loves you. This man loves you. What's what, Why are you indecisive? Why? Why are you being indecisive? Why are you not making the decision? He wants to, he wants to be married to you because look. Look at that Hierophant card there. That Hierophant card can represent a tar sun sign, but it can be anyone. It can be anyone. But... The Hierophant card does represent the Taurus sun sign. The Strength card represents the Leo sun sign as well. Can't be any woman. These are just the cards that are the signs that are on the board. But that Hierophant card is about commitment, marriage. Commitment, marriage. That's what it's about. It's about commitment and marriage. It's about someone that wants to make a commitment to you. And then you have that Six of Swords. And that Six of Swords means winning. You're winning if you marry this man. If you say I do, if you... Let go and let God and quit trying to hold on to control and want him to be exactly like you want him to be. You want him to check all your boxes, yet you don't you don't check all his boxes, but he loves you in spite of. Learn how to love in spite of. Learn how to love because we're all flawed as individuals. He's not an abuser. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. He's not. He doesn't have, maybe, I, I don't know what it is, but you've got to let go and let God and accept this man as he is so that you can move toward marriage because you're clearly in love with him. You're clearly in love with him. Let go and let God. Give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify this reading. I'm going to clarify this reading. So sit back, relax, Capricorn. Just give me three to five minutes. Show me spirit, guys. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Show me spirit, guys. 
why is the ace of cups here for my capricorns show me spirit guys why is the ace of cups here for capricorns let's see show me spirit guys three of swords see this here's the problem capricorn i'm going to be very honest with you that's why you're trying to get this control and you want him to be exact you're afraid of getting hurt that three of swords here you've been heartbroken before you there's been a huge heartbreak before and, and you're trying to control you you're you're afraid of getting hurt but you got to let go and let god that three of swords is heartbreak someone's broken your heart you've let your guard down before and someone's broken your heart so that's what you're afraid of that three of swords you know you're afraid of that three of swords that's what you're afraid of so let's see why the strength card is here show me spirit guys why is the strength card here for my capricorns it's i see the three of sources being a fear card you're just fearful you want him that's why you see the strength card here see as long as you can keep the control then you're okay but that's not how life is that's not how love is love is a risk and marriage you know is a, a bigger risk than anything else well, let's see why is this strength card here show me spirit guys why is the strength card here for my capricorns temperance patience can't be a sagittarius sun sign but Temperance is all about patience. It's about patience. It's about being patient with yourself and being patient with whomever else. If you want all these things that you're saying you want. If you want these things, you've got to be patient with this man. Also, you've got to be patient with yourself. Temperance is having patience. Temperance is trying to put all of the everything together to make it be what you want it to be. It'll never be 100% Capricorn. I'll say that. You'll never be able to have total control. And why would you want to? Love is a risk. Love is a risk. Let go and let God. And I'll say it again. Let go and let God. Be patient. He can give you your heart's desire. He's not perfect. But he's perfect for you. He's not perfect. But he is absolutely perfect for you. Let go. Let God. So let's see why the two of swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Show me spirit guides. Why is this two of swords here for my Capricorn? Show me why the two of swords is here. Show me. The star. Look at that Capricorn. What a wonderful read for you Capricorn. Whoever I'm reading for. So far this has been a wonderful read. Um, the star card is here. And that's all about your hopes, your wishes, your dreams coming true. He is your dream come true. He is your wish come true. Let go, let God. He is not perfect, but he's perfect for you. Perfect for you. That star card can also represent possibly an Aquarius sun sign. The star card does, does represent Aquarius as a sun sign. Um, so it can represent an Aquarius sun sign as well. So let's see why the Hierophant card is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Hierophant card here for my Capricorns? Two of Swords again. Two of Swords again. Thank you, Spirit Guides. When the Spirit Guides give you the same card in the read, Two of Swords is in the middle of your read. And here's a Two of Swords again. Two of Swords is just being indecisive about a marriage. You're indecisive about a commitment with this man that you're in love with. Only because you've been heartbroken. But here, let's start at the Six of Wands. Let's look at the Six of Wands. Two of Swords is just being indecisive. Make up your mind before you lose it. I'm just going to tell you. Make up your mind, Capricorns. Everybody's not out to hurt you. Everybody you love is a risk though. Love is a risk. You never know what's going to happen, but why not take the risk? Why not take the risk? And it's over the Hierophant card. Because he wants to marry you. Take the risk, Capricorn. So let's see why the Six of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Six of Wands here? Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. And when I see this Ten of Swords, I don't think this is negative for this. I see the Ten of Swords over the Six of Wands because I think you're going to take the risk. You're going to end your, your stinking thinking because you've been stinking thinking about this. You're going to end this with this Ten of Swords over the Six of Wands. means that you're going to end... You're going to end your thinking, this negative, this indecisiveness. You're going to come to an end with this indecisiveness, Two of Swords, Two of Swords here. You're going to end it because you're going to win with this Six of Wands. You're going to take the risk. I just, you're going to take the risk. You're absolutely going to take the risk. 
Because you're gonna you you understand what he brings to you. Let's start at the very beginning. Ace of Cups. You're in love with him. He's in love with you. This is an uh, an agape love. Um, but you have the strength card here too, which means to me that you're trying to control this love. You're trying. He's not a hundred percent what you what you think. He's not perfect, but you aren't perfect either. Strength card can also represent a Leo sun sign. But the reason why you're like this, the Ace of Cups is here. This is his love card. But the reason why you like that is the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is heartache. You've been your heart's been broken before, and I understand. Every my heart, every I understand Capricorn, but you've got to let go and let God. Because here's a Temperance card here, which means you need patience. He's not totally everything you want, but he's perfect for you. He is perfect. This man is perfect for you. The Two of Swords is in the middle of the reading. He's flawed, just like you're flawed. Two of Swords is in the middle of the reading. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that Two of Swords is about indecisive. Why are you being indecisive when this star card is here? And let me know. And these, these cards are so beautiful as well. Look at that star card. Look at that sister. That's a wonderful card. Anyway, the star card, it is one of the star card is one of one of my favorite cards because it's got hope. It's about dreams coming true. You there's hope, there's dreams coming true. You adore this man, but you're afraid because you've been hurt before and you're indecisive. But he wants to be married to you with that hyphen card, which can represent a Taurus sun sign, but he wants to be married to you, Capricorn. He's perfect for you. He's not 100% what you want. But who is? He's flawed like you're flawed. Let go. Let God marry him. Two of sources here. You're still being indecisive over this marriage. But here's a six of wands, which is winning. And then the ten of swords came out. You're getting ready to take the risk. You're not going to be indecisive anymore. You're, there's no indecisive. See, but it's next to the two of swords. And it's, it's over this ten of swords. It's over the six of wands. You're going to take the risk. Yeah, you're going to let that go. You're going to end your, your stinking thinking, as I call it. You're going to end being indecisive, and you're going to take the risk in order to win. Because you're going to win with this man. Because it's already love all throughout this reading. He is a dream, a wish come true. He's perfect for you. You're going to let your guard down. There's not going to be the heartbreak. You're, he's not going to break your heart. You're going to take the risk. So let's see. Let's see. Let go. Let God. So let's see. Show me oracles. What do you want to tell my Capricorns about this? Oh. Peaceful resolution, Capricorn. Yeah, because you're going to take the risk. Look, the cards that are coming out of success. Yes. Yeah. Look, yes. Coming out back to back. Yes. You're going to yeah. take action. Yeah, take the risk. Take the risk. I'm going to pull every card that comes out that I think that you should see this. It's, it's up to you. And it absolutely. <laughs> Meditation brings answers. Prayer works. Do what you need to do. Meditate. Take the risk. Take the risk. Take oh, a year. 